two proud universities from the Commonwealth, the University of Richmond and the University of Virginia collide in renewal of a series that spans over a century. And for the third straight season as the head coach of the Cavaliers, Mike London debuts with a win in commanding fashion today, Keith. Virginia comes out and scores 22 points early. I think they lost a little focus there in yeah. the second quarter. Went in at halftime, got refocused. And I think if you look at Vir Vir Richmond, you know, they're playing Virginia, a bigger school. They're not supposed to win. But they did some things, particularly in the latter part of the ball game, that I think uh, Coach Rocco is going to be very pleased with as he gets into his, uh, you know, Colonial Athletic Association schedule. You say the uh, name Rocco. That is Danny Rocco and his debut as the head coach of the Spiders. Michael Rocco had a uh, tremendous day today. He threw for... 311 yards and engineered march after march as the quarterback. Between the 20s, between the 10s, Virginia did move the ball through the air. Once they got in tight, they started rushing the ball for touchdowns. You see the first one there. Here's one from 51 yards to Jennings. And again, you go back and look at Rocco's in those 311 yards. No interceptions. He didn't force anything. I think he was in command of the offense. And again, I think Virginia just lost focus once they got ahead by so much. But credit Richmond. They continue to pound. They continue to come back. This is their first score. Comes late in the second quarter, and they go in at halftime. They're down, but they're still in the ball game. Uh, Michael Strauss, the former Cavalier, transfers to Richmond, throws a touchdown pass. We head to the third quarter. It's a 22 to six Virginia lead. And I think this is where Virginia started to really uh, exert itself and, and 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 be demonstrative. Four rushing touchdowns. Richmond did come back. There were times that the Virginia defense, when they had the number twos and the number right. threes ends, gave up some yardage and some points. But though the game went back and forth, it never really was close. In the fourth quarter, uh, Rocco and uh, you see here Perry Jones, one of three running backs to score a touchdown today, uh, along with Khalid Shepard, were able to put points on the board. Philip Sims marked his debut here at the University of Virginia with a 14-play march. But in the end of the Rocco family reunion, Michael Rocco gets the best of his Uncle Danny. The uncle and the nephew and a very, very proud family. There you see the stats. Virginia puts up the 43 points, over 500 yards of total offense, controls the clock. Third downs were struggling, uh, something that Richmond struggled with. But again, I saw enough from the Spiders to believe once they get into their level, into their conference, they may be poised for a pretty good year. Certainly could be a man that coached the University of Richmond to a national championship. Now the head coach at UVA, Michael London. He's on the field with Jen Hildreth. Coach London, first one out of the way. You got a win in the books. How did you feel your team performed? Well, you know, I tell you what, it's not always as bad as it seems sometimes. It's not always as good as it seems. But uh, I thought there were spurts that we looked good, particularly defensively and offensively. You know, we're running the ball, and all of a sudden we're getting stopped. So it's typical of a first game. It's very humid. You know, uh, you can see both sides were uh, gassed a little bit. But I think the resiliency of the team, you know, started to show up when we started having to put points on the board and getting, uh, getting first downs, you know, making those third downs. So. You're right, it's one in the books. You know, you're happy about it. Now you, you know, now you prepare for the next game. What's on the top of your list of things to work on? Well, everything, you know, everything. I think that, uh, as I said before, until you get out and you play a game where the coaches are off the field and it's all about what the players know, uh, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta make sure we're focused and coached up really well. And so there's some execution issues out here, but I think um, going into the next game, having another week of practice and taking care of some of the things that happened today, substitutions, just little things like that, that we'd be a better football team. A coach's answer, work on everything. Well, thank you, coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Jen. And in seven days, it's a Nittany Lions of Penn State right here in Scott Stadium. So you go from a 70-mile school, Richmond, to going up against Penn State with all that goes into it, both good and bad, under their new system. It's going to be an exciting time here in Charlottesville, and then they get into the uh, ACC schedule. Yeah, the 60th anniversary season of Atlantic Coast Conference play. And this opening weekend of ACC College Football Saturday, a dominating performance by the University of Virginia.